if you like food and cooking and if you have been trying some new recipes and you want to keep a record of all of them physically not just in your phone then you are at the right place so basically i have found this new love for cooking and although i have the pictures and the links of all the recipes i really want to put it all in my scrapbook and i'll show you how exactly i do it so i imported the photos in canva and resized them on a sheet of paper took a print out and using a paper trimmer i trimmed them up i've linked it in the video description then i have these pictures in my hand and now all the garbage goes in the basket and we go ahead with this journal that i already have and to begin with i am placing the picture and i just realized there is no point in me talking i can actually just have a background music and whenever i have something to add i'll say it in between Oh, and also these stars that I'm adding are the rating out of how I like the recipe, and I think I'm going to add it for all the recipes. I still have a few more which I might add to this journal and I might share another video of the same. Now one thing to understand here is now if you look at the recipe journal that we have made today a few things to notice is what I did is first I uh, fixed the places of the images that I have been using okay and if you look at it all the images are sort of placed at different places that sort of already brings the differences in the spreads that you are making okay. The next thing that you do is you add the name of the recipe again you can bring some variation in how you do it put it at different places add some background to it add some kind of shapes around it totally your call then another thing that i've kept fixed is the ingredients again feel free to work around how do you write it play around with fonts make some background cut out some pages and then write on top of it another thing i added was the process and one person touch was the review so these are basically there to help me understand how I like the recipe and not how it goes basically. So helps me and make a decision on whether or not I want to make it again. Another big help during the whole process was washi tape. So wherever I found that there was faces remaining and I did not know what to do about it, I simply went ahead and I put washi tapes around it. If you don't have that, you can probably use some pattern paper. You can use uh, doodles. You can use some stamping. Whatever works for you and feel free to play around. Also, if you want more ideas like this, if you need more journal link tips like this, please subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on another video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.